What is going on you guys, the boy Just Brown or JB from Team Broskies, and today I am super static. Early in the morning, 6 a.m., we just got the drop, and honestly, I could not be happier. The new stuff that they showed off for the anniversary box just looks golden, so let's get into it. Make sure you guys uh, click the like button, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Show this video some support. I already got my own copy, so don't worry, we will be making a video on this, but um... You know, uh, show your support. Show your support to the channel if you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Super content. And let's get in here. So, this just dropped right now, um, August seventh. We've known this for a while. It's almost out. These boxes, oh my god. Okay, so they showed the rest of the cards. We'll get into them right now. The two packs to get the random leader and some other stuff like foils and stuff. The reprint alternate art. Um, we'll get into that later, and then we have the the sleeves. Honestly, sleeves are average. Uh, Ribrian, I would wear them. I would. I would, I would honestly um, use them just for the memes. Uh, this Unison one's also pretty good. Uh, Shenron, I like Shenron, so I wouldn't mind Shenron. And Jiren Arts is cool. A little bit disappointed on the art, but uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, last anniversary box they were way better. Then we have the the box designs. Uh, this Goku one's really cool. I like how they keep they use a lot of art from different uh, cards in the game. You have this Unison one, which is okay, average, honestly. Uh, they're still designing one, so there might be another really cool one. And then we have this one right here, which is my favorite. Uh, Agents and Destruction uh, box. Hopefully, I do get that one when I get my box. I would be super happy if I do pull that one. If not, the Goku one's also really cool. Um, if you ask for them, you get them back. They haven't shown this off yet, which was kind of disappointing to hear about in the morning. But let's get into the cards, guys, because this is crazy. So we hope you guys are excited. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, okay, so it's just them fully announcing it. This was like I was waiting for six six a.m. I was not gonna stay up till like one in the morning, so I just waited till the morning. So we have uh, I called it uh, Majin Buu leader, but let's get into it. So uh, let's see. Uh, Bobbity leader of Angel. Oh, oh my god. So if you guys saw my set six opening, you guys know that I love Agents of Destruction just because of the whole hero aspect and I just think they're really cool. Uh, I'm gonna for sure run this leader for a while because uh man, I, I I just love me some Agents of Destruction. So read Agents of Destruction cards in your hand if they had no specific cost. Uh this worries me a little bit. Cause oh wait, specific cost? We don't know if that means energy or like the little the little bar on, on the left right here that signifies that they need to be a specific color uh we'll see uh, when this card attacks add up to one card from your life in your hand then look up to the top five cards on the top of your deck add one age destruction card and shuffle i mean i was a four less you may draw one and uh, average ability average um average uh, awakening skill but i mean searching for an agent to destruction is really good if that's going to be the whole gimmick of this leader then we have Majin Buu, Leaders of Agents of Destruction. This art looks awesome. I love it. <laughs> this hands look a little weird though. They look all puffy. Uh, treat, same thing. Choose one Agent of Destruction card that you cost a two or less in your hand and play it. Okay. And for three, choose one Unison card with Agent of Destruction card name and add it to your hand. And play with three markers on it. That's pretty cool. For three energy, playing a Agent of Destruction with three markers already on it. That's pretty good. Uh, this might be a little bit of a long video because we have a lot of cards to go through. This card looks awesome. I love this card. This, what you guys are going to see right now for Agents of Destruction is what made me immediately impulse buy this box. So, Vegeta, uh, Resolute, Agents of Destruction. Choose one card in your hand and discard it. When this card is played, choose all your opponent's battle cards. Ignoring. What the heck? That's its auto? I didn't even read the cards. I just saw the art. That's crazy. Double strike critical. And I think you can play this with the... Uh, yeah, you can play this with the Bajin Buu. Oh my god. Choose one card in your hand, discard it. When this card is played, choose all of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and KO them. This card gets 5k power for one turn. And for minus 5, if your leader is an evil wizard card, or all of your energy is mono green. Huh. Uh, choose three cards in your opponent's hand and discard them. Oh my god, this is such a whole this is such a hand control card, but you can't play with the Goku and Frieza, so I'm happy about that. It has to be uh Oh wait, but your energy can just be mono black. Uh 
This is a really good card. This this guy this guy's gonna go crazy in the meta. Trust me, guys. Uh, Turles chaotic. You know they killed my boy and then they brought him back. All right, Turles chaotic agent. I don't think he had a. I don't think he was an agent of destructions back in set six. Anyways, uh, when this card attacks, look to uh, five cards of your deck. Choose up to one agent uh, card name in the miniature. Average ability, but um, it's every time he attacks. So uh, for a two cost, not bad. Also, I, I'm just loving this art, guys. It's looking really clean. Oh my god. Broly Invisible Age to Destruction. Discard this card from your hand. Add one card, Age Destruction card from the drop area to your Okay, that's pretty good. Get a get a get an agent back from the drop area. Uh oh, it says cards, so I guess you can get unisons back with this. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. Okay. Uh, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and each cost of five or less. KO it, then look up to the top three cards of your deck, add one among them to your hand. Then place through okay. This guy's really just a searcher for the Age of Destructions. That's pretty cool. Lord Slug, finally some Namekian support, I guess. Uh, when your opponent activates counter play skill, they choose two cards in your hand and discard them. Wow, that's a yeah. Green's looking like a lot of hand control. Oh and I think he's a super wait. Yeah, he's like a super combo, so that's pretty cool. Okay, um, 13, Extreme Agent of Destruction. If your leader has Agent of Destruction in the card name, if your battle card is being played and an opponent costs three or less, this is placed in its owner's drop instead of being played. Play this card, then your opponent chooses one card in their hand and just discards it. When this card is played, shuffle up to a total of two evil wizard cards or cards with agent destruction in the card name from your drop area from to the deck. Okay. Hopefully they give you a whole set of these cards to run. Um, if not, I guess I'm going to have to pick up another one or just find them for cheap on uh, TCG player if they are cheap. If they're not cheap, I'm just going to end up buying another box anyway. Just trying to pull that agent destruction box. Um... But pretty good, pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're still with these guys. Uh, these guys look like they're like the main focus of it. Garlic Jr., Immortal Agent of Destruction. Negate the attack and play this card. When this card is played, look up, play up to one Agent Destruction card with each cost of two or less. Other than copies of this card from your deck with the skills negated for the turn, then show. Okay, it's good that they added that except for this card, because if not, you could just keep on playing this card. Two costs. Um, well, yeah, most of them are two costs. <laughs> okay, there, there's probably a really good combo you can do with this, with this uh, one card. Oh, uh, did I jump? I don't think so. Okay, Hachiat, Vengeful of Destruction. Discard this card from your hand. Play up to one Evil Wizard Bobbity card with an energy cost of one from your deck. Draw and shuffle your deck and share. There's probably a, a Bobbity that I forgot about. Uh, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card with energy cost of four or less. Send it to its owner's warp. Then place up to three battle cards from your opponent's drop area at the bottom of their deck in any order. That's pretty good. I just wanted to play like not even an energy, not even an energy cost. This card, look, this is my favorite card right here. Favorite, favorite freaking card in the game right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, Agents of Destruction Strike Back. This card is an Agent of Destruction in all areas. Look at the two, two cards of your deck. Add up to two Agents of Destruction with the card name and their card name among them to your hand, and then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order you can. Activate copies of this card for the turn. If you added cards in your hand, add up to one card from your deck. So you get three cards. But you get, to, but you have to remove one. This card, this art looks awesome. This is my favorite art in the game right now. Oh my gosh! Okay. Uh, Jiren, Legends of Universe 11. When your opponent plays a battle card or a unison card, you may choose that card, and it gets wow. Your opponent cannot play any small, any small cards because they will just get. Okay, it's just once. Okay, so it's just once. It's okay. Uh, give me a minute, guys. Uh, plus one activate main. This card gains double strike for the turn. Minus three battle. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and it gets minus 25k. Okay, this just this guy just kind of tries to kill things on the field. Not crazy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be good though. Frost for the clan blocker. If your leader is a red unison, freeze a BR card. Look to the four cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one mono extra green card. Uh, uh, extra card. Mono red um, extra card among them in your hand, and then shuffle your deck. If your leader card is a red freeze a BR card. Add up to two mono red. Okay, so just an extra finder. Not bad. Frieza, um, Emperor. I'm surprised he's not full power. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. If there are five or more red extra cards in your drop, play this card from your hand. Wow, okay. Uh, if your leader card is red army card and there's two or more red, uh, mono red extras in your drop area, when this card is in your combo, she's up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10. Minus, minus 10. Planet of Vegeta's final moments, negate the attack if your leader is a red BR card, choose all all of you and your opponent's leader battle cards and they get minus, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, just, uh, 
basically just nuke the whole field to have low cost cards. Low cost cards. Janembo, we could age the strikes. No, they keep coming. Okay. You and your opponent draw one, and then your opponent places the top card of their deck in the drop. Okay. Uh, this card gains. It, say... it doesn't even say you get a marker. Uh, this card gains critical, and if your opponent has 15 or less energy cards in their, uh, in your cards in their deck, this card gets 15k. Oh, this is an ender if I've ever seen one. Oh, this can actually be a pretty good counter to the, um, uh, to Vigex. Yeah, this is a pretty good counter to Vigex. Wow, okay. Uh, Jedebo Raging with Evil. Okay. Deflect critical when this card is played. Activate, uh, activate this skill. At the start of your opponent's next turn, switch it to three of your mono blue. Wait, what? <laughs> what the heck? That's pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a good card, guys. Um... Combo attack Janemba, burst 2, choose all evil incarnated cards or demon cards in your battle area other than this copy of this card and return to the other hand. Play this card from your hand and add up to two cards from your left to your hand and you can't play copy. Okay, this is weird. Weird, weird, weird. Weird ability. Gokyo. When this card is played, look up to the look up to one green card with energy cost of six or less, any union fusions go from the deck and then shuffle your deck. Well, one energy, place this card in this drop and then choose one card in your hand with a union, a union fusion skill and reveal it. For each character name reveal with the Union's future skill, add up to one card with the magic character name energy, cost three, uh, three and seven from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay, this is a weird ability, but uh, no opinion. Okay, one energy. If your leader, if your leader card is uh, green, go tanks, and you place one card of your life to your drop area, play this card from your hand. If your leader card is a green go tanks, then you return this card to the uh, owner's hand and look up the top, top five cards in your deck and add up to one green go tanks and, all, and or one green uh, unison card and specify the cost of two among them in your hand and then shuffle your deck. Uh, go tank, green reaper of justice, dual attack, unis, uh, union fusion. If your leader card is a go, green go tanks card, when this card is played, draw two cards and then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, when this card is removed from your battle area, by an opponent's skill or KO, choose up to one Sun Goatin card and, and up to one Chunks from your drop area to your hand. King Vegeta, Royal, okay, here we go, great ape support, guys. If your leader is yellow, look up to the top five cards at the top of your deck, add up to one mono green, mono yellow great ape among them to your hand. Wow, okay. And place up to two mono yellow great apes with a different name and energy cost at four from your deck, then choose, wait, four. Ah. Uh, Yes. Okay. 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 This is the must have for all great apes. Uh, great ape Bardock. Okay, there's another one. Okay. If you can't, you can only play mono yellow sync. Okay. So great apes is gonna be yellow. Okay. Calling it. Uh, great apes are gonna be yellow. If your leader card is yellow, at the end of the battle where this card is used for the combo, play. what the heck? This is another. Wait. Is this the reprint? Mind of Resistance. No. This is it. Oh my God. What the heck? Dude, that's another, that's another Bardock. Unless they change the name also. But that's literally a, another Bardock. And it's cheaper to play. Okay, it's cheaper to play, but it also has, oh, 5k left. Okay, this is, oh my gosh, okay. Another must-have. Basically, a, a, a little small dumbed-down, uh, dumbed-down version of Bardock uh, reprint. Really good grid ape card. Oh, uh, Full Moon. Uh, was this the... Reprint. If you have a uh, if you have a great ape uh, card in play in your battle area, you can activate this. Activate. From, uh, choose up to one mono yellow card and gets one k. It gets ten k for the battle. And if it's your opponent's turn, shift to one great ape card in your battle area and switch it to active mode. Okay, you get to save a you get to save a monkey. That's pretty good. Uh, Sun Goku and Vegeta, uh, Junior. Choose this card and all your skillless battle cards that get five k. Oh, this is the this is the uh, Kidku support. Nice. Play up to two skillless battle cards with an energy cost of one from your deck or drop area, then shuffle your deck and then and look through it. Shuffle two skillless battle cards and draw two. Okay. Uh, pretty good. Honestly, I like, I love that. Oh, he doesn't even have a specific energy requirement. I love seeing all these uh, different archetypes getting support. Uh, Sun Goku and Android 8. This card is skillless. This card and skillless battle cards in your battle area can be used in combos and rest mode. Okay. If your leader card is in black, Sun Goku Childhood, yes it is. Uh, when this card is played, add up to one card from your life to your hand, then play up to two skillless battle cards at 10k power from your deck. Drop, shuffle your deck. If it looked, okay. 
Average ability, Hachia, 9 cost, triple attack, EX evolve Hachia from 8 energy. When this card evolves into this card, switch this card into active mode. Uh, when your opponent activates a counter skill, they choose up to one card in their hand and send to their warp. Eh, average, honestly. Max power, this is another one of my favorite arts right now. Max power, come him out, negate the attack, you may send up to 4 cards and drop into the warp. If you do, return this card in the drop area of your hand, and you can activate copies with this card every turn. Choose up to one of your opponent's cards with energy cost greater than the current energy and send it to their warp. All right, that is every card for the anniversary box, guys. Um, honestly, if you guys aren't sold on this yet, uh, I, I don't know what you're thinking. This is amazing. So much, so many new unisons that you're guaranteed to get. So many good uh, destruction cards. Uh, a brand new leader. You get a box which could have a really sick design. You get a you get a one batch of sleeves. Like super cheap, super good. Uh, you know like there's still one designing so we'll see what this is i would be surprised if it's not grade 8 but uh right now my if it's grade 8 i want the grade 8 one but right now my all-time favorite it has to be uh units of destruction like just this this just i just really want this box if i do end up pulling it when i do get my box i don't mind this one either but this one sort of, sort of looks like the most boring one so goku this one and depending on which one looks this one looks maybe that one but uh yeah that's gonna do it for me guys uh you know, if you guys want your copies of, sorry about that. If you guys want your copies of, uh, of the anniversary box, go to Game Nerds. They have the cheapest prices. I know, I know, I just on them a little bit, but they're still a really good company. Uh, there's still some pre-order. The four pack is already out, so you guys gotta, you guys want to order your own. Uh, I'd say you guys hurry up with that before they get completely sold out. And yeah, guys, uh, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys later. All right, later, guys. Peace.